resources forest and wildlife resources all materials available in our environment which satisfy our needs are called resources they are of two types all natural things such as land air soil minerals forest and animals are known as natural resources things made by human using natural resources are called human made resources buildings roads machines and electricity are examples types of natural resources exhaustible resources some natural resources such as metals and fuels are available in a limited quantity once we use up these resources we cannot create any more of them such resources are called exhaustible resources they are also called non renewable resource for example coal and petroleum coal is used to cook heat to generate electricity to run steam engines and factories petroleum is known as black gold it is refined to produce petrol and diesel the petroleum reserves are limited and are not available in every country inexhaustible resources natural resources which do not get exhausted are called inexhaustible resources these are also called renewable sources for example solar energy air water plants and animals the energy of the sun is called solar energy it is also used to light streets cook heat water and electricity air is an important natural resource wind is used to generate electricity water is needed for drinking washing cooking growing crops etc electricity generated from falling water is called hydroelectricity plants give us food to eat and oxygen to breathe trees prevent soil erosion and give shelter to many animals this is why plants are called green gold soil is needed to grow plants fertile soil is good for crops conservation we must plant trees and not hunt animals we must not pollute air water and soil we must save electricity and develop other sources of energy forests a large area of land that is thickly covered with trees and shrubs is called forest types of forests the various types of forests present in india are evergreen forest deciduous or monsoon forest thorn and shrub forest mountain forest tidal or mangrove forest importance of forests trees and plants give us oxygen to breathe we get firewood timber paper and medicinal herbs from forests the roots of the trees hold the soil together to prevent the soil from getting washed away during heavy rain forests are home to different types of wild animals and birds forests keep the surrounding area cool forests help to make the soil fertile forests help in bringing more rainfall types of forests found in india evergreen forest the main features are they do not shed their leaves at once here when one group of trees shed their leaves the other group grow new leaves they are dense and tall for example rosewood bamboo ebony and mahogany they are found in western slopes of the western ghats hills of northeastern india and the andaman and nicobar island deciduous or monsoon forest main features are the trees shed their leaves during the dry season some trees found here are mahua sandalwood sal and teak sandalwood is found in karnataka this type of forest is found in bihar uttar pradesh odisha and many states in the peninsular plateau
thorn and scrub forest main features are the trees and shrubs here have long roots thorns thick stem and small leaves the plants which grow here can survive without water for a long period places where thorn and scrub forest are found desert area of rajasthan dry areas of gujarat madhya pradesh tamil nadu telangana andhra pradesh uttar pradesh and haryana mountain forest the main features are they are tall and some trees bear cones trees mostly have pointed or needle like leaves pine spruce and jacadar are some trees which grow here they are found in himalayan region and parts of the hills no trees grow on snow covered mountains tidal or mangrove forest the main features are these forests are also dense the trees have special roots which grow above the ground the wood of these trees is hard sundari is an important tree which grows in west bengal they are found in the delta region of ganga and brahmaputra which is in west bengal and bangladesh some parts of gujarat and the andaman and nicobar islands need to save forests trees are being cut down in large number to fulfill our needs as a result forest resources are slowly reducing this is called deforestation deforestation causes soil erosion flood and landslide especially during heavy rainfall we must protect our forests because our survival depends on them forests are also home to many wild animals we must conserve our forests by planting more trees in deforested area wildlife of india the government has taken measures to protect our wildlife many national parks and wildlife sanctuaries have been set up by the government all over india for the protection of our wildlife a national park is a reserve forest area it is meant to protect the wildlife trees and natural beauty of a region a wildlife sanctuary is an area reserved for animals especially those which are endangered tiger one horned rhinoceros nilgai lion tailored mac asiatic lion and snow leopard are some endangered animals let's recall all materials which satisfy our needs are called resources they are of two types natural resources and human made resources all natural resources are either exhaustible or inexhaustible resources which cannot be created once they are exhausted are called exhaustible resources metals coal and petroleum are examples resources which do not get exhausted are called inexhaustible resources solar energy air water plants and animals are examples the various types of forest present in india are evergreen deciduous or monsoon thorn and scrub mountain and tidal or mangrove forests many national parks and wildlife sanctuaries have been set up by the government all over india to protect forests and wild animals thank you